Hi friends, Soft Illusion is back with the new video tutorial series on VBOTS ROS2. This series starts with installation of VBOTS and ROS2 installation and slowly develops basics of ROS2 like making services, making subscribers, publishers and slowly debugging the code and finally it ends with advanced topics like computer vision and slam. So this series is an exciting one because if you complete this series successfully you will be just one step away from making your own robot because in this series you will not only learn how to work with ROS2 but also you will learn a great simulator named VBOTS. So I think most of you are excited about the series. So without wasting time, let's start with the installation. seeing how to install ROS2 on Linux. Link of this page will be given in the description. Here we need to follow some steps where we need to update our system, add this link to our updates, get a key, then we need to download ROS2. So if you go to release pages, you will see different patches of ROS2. From these, for today's video, I have downloaded ROS2 Foxy 2020 0807, which is of 826 MBs. So when you hit on download, you will see it being downloaded in your downloads. Now we will make a directory named ROS2 Foxy in our home. Then we will get into it. This is already done by me. I'll show you in a moment how it will look then as we download it so if i go in my downloads i have ros2 foxy 2020 807 linux file if i copy this command so copy and when i see on terminal when i paste it this will not be exactly so if I hit on tab, it will auto complete. And this is what is to be unzipped because we have our file name as this one. So when you hit enter, you will see the following, which I will show you. So in your home, I have named it as ROS2 Foxy installed. So you will see ROS2 Foxy and you will see these files in your folder. So now we will continue with the installation. We will do sudo apt-get update. We will install all Python 3 dependencies. We will do ROS dev and ROS2 needs some dependencies to work. So that will automatically be installed by these commands. ROS dev init and ROS dev update. So now we install missing dependencies and also some python libraries when you do this you will need to source the repository which we just made in your bash script and then you will be able to run these examples so this is a way how you can install your ros2 and if you just remove that folder or hit this command your ros2 will be uninstalled. I would also like to share one more way of installing and building your ROS2. So link of this will also be in the description. So this is a full fledged way how you can install all the tools. It has similar content. You need to ROS dep, you initialize it. Here 
in place of CMake in ROS2 we have Colcon build. So this helps you build your repository and you will need to source this repository. So I have made my repository from build. I recommend you this will take time but this is also a good method to build your ROS. In my ROS to Foxy, I will see these because I, I did Colcon build and in my source, I have different repositories of ROS2. Okay, so this was all. Now let's see how our ROS2 works. Before that, I will just show you my bash script. So sudo dot bash rc. nano my bad we'll need to see the bash script so here you will have such default bash script and if you are new with bash you will need to add this line in your bash script which is sourcing your local setup okay so let's see how we can run ROS2 so here we have a talker in ROS2 so those of who you know ROS1, you must be knowing that initially we start with a docker and a listener. Here, ROS2 has made a docker in C++ and listener in Python to show that nodes can be written in different languages and integrated in ROS2. So I copy this command and when I run this on terminal, I have already sourced it. So if you just wrote in a script, you need to source it. If I hit enter, you will see our node started talking. We'll open new terminal and we will see if I control C and paste it. So you see here, the listener node is listening to the talker. So the latest message is hello world 23, which is what is registered here. And we can prove that by if I control C. So I stop this talker. Your listener will also be stopped. This shows that there is communication between the two nodes. If this works for you, that means your ROS2 has been built correctly. So choose a link which you like to build your ROS2 and go for it. In this second part, we will learn how to install vbots. So if you come on website cyberbotics.com, you will see this page where you have different options to install. So if you are using Windows, you can install the executable file exe. You can even do it in Mac. And for Linux, which we are using, we have two options. We can use snap. So if I click on snap, I can install it directly from here. So this is a snap version, which is a cool way to install. Or else second option is you can install Debian package. So if I uh, click on it, it downloads. And when you click on Debian package, it will, it will pop an installation page and you just hit on install and it will be installed. So this is second part where you need to install vbots. Now we will go through part three where we will clone this repo vbots ROS2 which is from Cyberbotics. So link of this GitHub repository will be given in the description. We'll close this for now. So we'll open a terminal, make a directory named ROS2 workspace slash source. I have already made it. Then we will CD ROS2 workspace source. If we do slash tilde slash. So I'm already on that workspace. And now you'll do git clone. 
and you can copy this address and you can paste it in your terminal and when you hit enter you will see something like this so if i ls you will see vbots ros2 package so let's go into the package so these are some of the examples which vbots has given us as learnings so there is a very cool way to install this inside our core if you run sudo apt get install ros2 foxy vbots dash ros2 you can use this command to build the code inside your ros2 repo so you see here it's been built so these are the two ways where you can set up the repository of vbots ros2 that is by cloning it and by apt get command so fourth thing today we are going to look is visual studio code here you can use debian package of visual studio code so it will download here and once it's downloaded if you just hit code in your terminal you can see this code so now we will set up our repository on visual studio code so click on file click on open folder so we'll go to home we will do ros2 workspace and we will hit we will go in source and we will hit okay so when we do this we will be able to see all our files from here and this is a good practice to set up a repo in visual studio code so that we can even use git functionalities here and we can even run the code through this editor so once you make this repo we will cd so here you have we bought ros2 package if i cd in my case if you see i have more than one folders other than source so we will need to build this repo so if i do call con build which which is like catkin make in ros so if i do this it will make all my repos and it will give me these three folders named build install and log so we'll set up all four things which are first being ros2 second vbots third vbots ros2 repository and fourth visual studio code so now let's look at an example to see that if everything is working fine so today in our vbots ros2 repo we will be looking at an example which is of a robot tiago so if you see in launch file we have a tiago.launch.py so this is a launch file in ros2 so if i open the terminal here i will need to source here source will be install setup.bash if you don't see this source that means your callcon build is not correct you will need to remove those folders and do callcon build again so when i hit on en enter it is sourced this repo now i do ros2 launch v bots so package name is vbots ros2 tiago so we do vbots autocomplete tiago and our launch file name is tiago.launch so you see your tiago.launch and if i hit on enter it should spawn some script and your vbots will show up a beautiful scene where you have tiago robot so if this is working fine that means all your packages are being built correctly and set up correctly 
So this was all about this video. In the next video and coming series, we will look into details of how to make some nodes and how to run cool robot simulations. Thank you.